everybody. Accurate here. Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Very proud to bring you guys the 10th region added to the game. I want to give a special shout out to uh, Expansive Worlds and Avalanche Studios for allowing me to have a little bit of early access to it through this uh, press launch. Thank you very much. This is a pro promo video, but I am free to express my own opinion. There's no stipulations in, in the agreement uh, that I have to, you know, just be positive about the game and not say anything bad or anything like that. But you guys know my experience with The Hunter and uh, that franchise. Odds are it's probably going to be pretty darn good because uh, I absolutely love this this franchise anyway. So let's get started here. Um, the new region is going to be in northern Mexico, and it is called, um, let me see here, Rancho del Arroyo. All right, so here we are in Mexico and uh, let's see here so I, I've done a little hunting I pressured this area a little bit experimented around a little and uh, decided uh, oh here's the La Hacienda that's where you start at right here right so just a, a couple little things my hunter mate isn't picking up tracks for some reason not sure why they also gave me a character with an insane amount of uh, they gave everybody a character with an insane amount of money and experience points and all that stuff that way you don't have to use your regular character when you're hunting um, because this branch, I, I'm guessing, will be closed because they opened up everything for us as far as where we can travel. So we can freely travel around uh, and, and quickly get from place to place to show you guys some of the some of the different regions inside our locations inside this region, I guess would be the way to say it. So let me see here. I, I kind of want to head... Where should I go? I don't know. Um... I, I kind of like this area here, but at the same time, I, I think maybe we'll just head on down here to this lake. This kind of looks nice. So let's head on down here and see what kind of trouble we guys we can get into, guys. All right. So there's five new species on, on this map, uh, including like pheasant, Mexican bobcat, and, and a few others. And um, for those of you that don't know, the hunter is a uh, hunting simulator. And it has basically an open world style to it where you can go out and just kind of do whatever you want at your own pace. And there's also story missions as well, which are pretty interesting. And they tell you a lot about the area and the region. The last one I did was New Zealand. And it was very interesting to hear about uh, the history of, of that particular area of New Zealand. I have the missions turned off right now because I don't want to... I don't want to spoil it for you guys. If you, I know last time I played you guys, a lot, a few of you guys said, ah, I really like it. I love your gameplay, but I kind of want to do the missions myself so I don't have any spoilers. So I'm just going to go out here and do a little free hunting and uh, we'll go from there. So something else I should show you here is I do have a new uh, shotgun that is going to be released with this uh, particular region. It's the Kuso, I think that's how you say it, Model 1897, and I picked the Ranchero skin, which has a little bit of a uh, gold accent to it. It's a pump-action shotgun, and then the ammo is pretty interesting because it's a 16-gauge, so you get uh, a lot of versatility. As you can see here, the bird shot's good for smaller game. The buck shot's good for, like, the mid size game, and then the slugs are better for your, uh, for your larger game. So, anyway, we're looking... I saw some pheasant that just appeared up uh, up there, some, some calls near the lookout here so i'm gonna go ahead and switch out the uh, ammo there let's bring up the uh, old shotgun i'm gonna try to use the ex shotgun exclusively let's see if i can switch it out i want to make sure that i have it loaded um i had some issues loading it just a little while ago so i want to make sure that i do it right this time okay and bring it down here there we go i always like to have my shotgun in the number two spots for some reason okay i think we're good i think we're good we'll find out here in a minute Oh, we got some tracks right here. What do we got? Oh, those look like, uh, okay, sheep. Big horn sheep. I do want to try out my shotgun, make sure it is working properly. Okay, it is. There we go. <laughs> A warning call? No way. Let's run towards it. I want to flush this, uh, I want to flush this pheasant out before it wanders off. We got some need zones up here, obviously. Okay, he's up here somewhere. We gotta find him. 
get him to go airborne. There's a lot of need zones here. All right, let's see if we can. So that's the disturbed vegetation, very old, but this is the need zone. This should be the need zone. There it is. All right, so that's the eating, and it's from 1430 to 1830. All right, so we're we're right here. This is where they should be gathering. Of course, I did blast off a test shot there. I want to make sure that my rounds were loaded properly. They're pretty skittish. They have a, a really good hearing and uh, sight, but their s sense of smell is pretty horrible. Yeah, she's walking around somewhere. They probably walked away from the gunshot after I freaked him out. All right. This is all still part of the same. Oh, here we go. We got one right here. See if we can get it to take to take flight. Oh, I got two of them. All right, good. Good thing I had five rounds in this sucker. I think I got both males, actually. Let's see here. All right, we got a silver on this one. Proper ammo. Animal shot two times or less. Intact trophy organs. Hit one vital. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and accept that. Let's go grab this other one. Oh, I got the female. That's okay. We'll take it. Still got a bronze. Okay, we'll accept that. All right, now the other one probably flew quite a distance. I'm guessing it went, uh, I think it kind of went this way ish. If we stumble upon it again, that'll be pretty amazing, but we already got one, so that's good. Just, uh, Excuse my writing style. Mexican bobcat. Oh, I want to hunt that. So bad, but I don't know which way it went. Is this going to be bobcat tracks? These look like bobcat tracks. They are bobcat tracks. Let's follow them. All right, now, see, normally I'd bring up my hunter mate. And it, oh, it works. I guess if I just reloaded the game. <laughs> okay, so it works now. Okay, so we've pressured this area. So there's less likely to be activity here for a while until it sort of cools down a little bit. But I'm going to follow these tracks and see if I can't find this Mexican bobcat. Um, not sure what I should use exactly on it, but we'll figure it out. Yep, here, I see more tracks up here. I don't know if they travel in a group or by themselves. I'm thinking they probably travel by themselves. All right, this male, 17 to 26 kilograms. I don't know what that means, if that's good or bad. Or, well, ooh, this is quite the sniper perch up here. I like this. Okay. All right, let's see what we could see from up here. This looks like a, a meat eater glassing opportunity here. Makes me want to go watch that show again, too. It's a really good show. Oh, man. Oh, every time I get back into this game, I just like, why did I... Why don't I just play this all the time? Such a great game. Am I hearing something? Is that me? I swear I'm hearing something, but it could be just me resettling. Like when I'm pivoting. My scent is going straight. <laughs> straight ahead of me there. That is like the worst, right? All right, I'm just really thrilled that my uh, hunter mate's now working again. Okay, good. I just had an issue with it. I guess I just needed to reload the game. And we can use a jackrabbit collar to call these things, kind of like coyotes. Let's see, very old. Oh, that's a redneck. That's a pheasant. I don't care about the pheasant right now. I want, I want bobcat. Let me hunt some bobcat. Okay, they're very old. Ooh, that's not very old. That's a mating call right there. So we're going to move over here. He's on the other side of this hill. You can tell by how far down it was there. So I'm going to get up here, and I'm going to try to call him in with this. 
It wasn't a warning call, which is nice. There's a radio tower over there. I want to check that out. So I'm going to try to call him in through this open area right here. And see if he'll... See if he'll bite. Ha <laughs> ha! See what I did there? He might. He might just come through here. Okay. I've never, ever gotten a pheasant or a Mexican bobcat before, so I'm excited. I take it back. I think I did get a Mexican bobcat when I was messing around with this. Yeah, or not a Mexican bobcat, but the, the pheasant. I did get one, one before this. Never got two, just like that, back to back. But I'm excited to get this bobcat here. So, anyway. I digress. Let's shut up and hunt here. Um, Let's try to get the right... Uh, While we're looking here, Mexican Bobcat, class three ammo. All right, uh, let's see here. Wait, wait, let me see here. All right, I'm pretty sure. Let's say class, class. Two through four, so buckshot will work. All right, so that's what they want me to use. All right, we'll use buckshot. There we go. I'm guessing if it's a bobcat, it might actually like try to flank, kind of like way coyotes sometimes do. Um, I don't know. Let's give it some time here. Oh, I see movement. I got movement right by the picking table. Left of the picking table. Let's spot that thing. Hard. Okay, I don't know if that's like a, a, a really good Mexican. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's give it another call here. He's going to come up this way. I'm going to try to... I think he's going to come... Yeah, he's kind of flanking a little bit to the right. So I'm going to try to get... I don't want him to come straight through this brush and have him go nose to nose with me. I want to have a nice run up right to, right to when I want to take the shot. This is pretty good. I kind of like this right here. I think once he gets to right about here, I'll take the shot. Oh, this is tense, guys. Oh, my gosh. I'm excited. Oh, don't mess this up. Don't mess it up, man. I think I'm using the right ammo. I hope I am. <laughs> oh, there's my lodge over. Don't, no, stay on target. What are you doing? Stop getting distracted. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Why is it not shooting? There we go. Two shots into him. I don't want to shoot anymore. I think that'll... Oh, okay. There we go. I'm going to say I think that will uh, disqualify me from getting a uh, trophy level if I shoot more than twice. I'm not sure what they consider the trophy part of the animal for the bobcat, so I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have shot in the head. Two no organs hits, really? Okay, well. All right, hopefully it's not sleeping. We got a bronze. We got a bronze. Uh, damage of vital, or it must be the head. It's probably the head, yeah. Oh, well. It's kind of hard with a shotgun not to hit <laughs> hit everything, and then no vital organs hit. Okay, so, yeah. We got a, got a bronze out of it, though. All right. That one's pretty. kind of want to exodermize it, <laughs> even though I'm not even... Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to have this character for that long anyway. There we go. All right. Where to next? Redneck pheasant again. You guys want to hunt a different area? I think I think maybe we will. Let's go. Uh, let's go hunt ourselves a different area here. 
All right. Added a little pressure there. Let's see here. Ooh, this looks remote over here. Ooh, that looks neat. Right on the coast. Let's try that one. What time is it here? 1734. Starting to get a little bit a little bit late in the day. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yes, I know. Just trying to get that message to go away. It's not working. It'll go away here shortly, I imagine. All right. Well, let's see here. Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Let's see. Is there a lookout tower? That's a good place to start. Let's head up there. I do have a perk. Or a skill, I guess it is. Let me do is ambush it. There we go. Or keen eye. Unlocks the ability to scout surrounding areas for animals and signs of activity near a lookout point. You must be within a 10 meters of the survey map and a lookout point to activate the skill. The action can be repeated, but comes with a cooldown time. So I think we need to go to the top. It's a 10 meters, so I imagine you need to be pretty close to the top of it. So let's walk up here, see what we can uh, find on the way up there. I could take the ATV up there, but I think uh, I think it's a nice day for a walk. So let's do that. Let's walk through this area here. Yeah, I don't need to read anymore about the codex. Why does it keep spamming me about the codex? Okay. Yeah, I know. I've been in here. Are you going to stay up there forever? Please don't. All right, so I'm going to try exiting out here to my main menu. See if we can get rid of that message over there. It's a bit annoying. So let's see if this works. It's beta. It's beta. These things happen. By the time you guys get it, I'm sure these will all be ironed out. Oh, I got some tritium sites unlocked. Oh, there we go. Got rid of the message. See, worked out fine. All right, I'm sure that it uh, has reset all the tracks and everything, so we're not going to find those tracks exactly, but uh, we'll find something else. We'll find some poop over here. Let's go investigate this this poop. What kind of poop are you? Ooh, bighorn. Yeah. Okay. They must like this area, then. I said it was very old, so I'm going to move with purpose. I think I'm going to probably have to use slugs on these, uh, but let's check the codex and see what it says. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's check that codex and see what it says for bighorn sheep. Class 4 ammo. So buckshot, right? Or slugs. Yeah. Let's use the buckshot. There we go. Yeah, two to four. Yeah, man, you get one through seven with the classes that you can take down with just a shotgun. That's that's pretty good. Um, let me make sure I get loaded up here with the old uh, shotgun. Am I loaded up? I'm going to try giving it a practice shot just to make sure. Okay, we're good. All right. I'm just paranoid. I had it not fire a couple times. She's enough to work up a sweat for anyone. Don't be too proud to use a scent eliminator. I use a scent eliminator all the time. Why? Who's been talking about me? All right, let's move over this way. I know I said I wanted to go up to the uh, lookout, but you know what? Starting to get late. All it looks like it's all girls. Yeah. Well, maybe hopefully they're late for a date with some with some boy sheep. I don't care. I'll take it. They have peccary on this uh, on this region too. Coyote, huh? But if you find Think we can call it in? Cover, I got movement over here. I got something. Make sure you keep your bearings. What are these? That's my sheep right there. They're on the run.
Looks like they settled down there, though. All right, let's move in this way. I use a little scent eliminator as well. Yeah, they're putting out the warning. Bunch of tattletales. Got something else moving. Is that still? Yeah, it's still sheep. Yeah. Oh, there's the there's the coyote. Snitch. All right, they're starting to come back. Let's see if we can get one of these. I'd like to get one of these as well. Ah, this is their need zone over here. That's why they're coming back. I bet you dollars to donuts this is their need zone that they fled from, and now they're coming back to it. So we can stake this sucker out and uh, wait for them to come back. Yeah, there's two need zones over here. And some disturbed vegetation right there. So I think we're on a collision course with these folk. And I do have the right ammo. I'm using the shotgun still. Man, they are skittish, aren't they? Let me read up on these guys a little bit real quick here. Oh, turkey, turkey, where are you at? Rio Grande turkey. Oh, I want to get one of those. And it's a male. Let's do that. What the? Oh, that's one of the sheep. Never mind. <laughs> Not used to that sound yet. I've heard it before a couple times, but uh, still just sounds foreign to my ears. All right, let's see if we can bring this turkey in. I do have a turkey, uh, like, decoy thing, and then I have, like, the collar. So I think I could probably sit in this tree here, put the decoy out here, like so, and call it in. That seems, that seems fair, right about there. Okay, now let's see if we can call it in. I don't remember where I put my turkey collar. Let's check real quick here. Uh, number seven. All right, let's give it a call, a call from here. My scent's kind of going that way, so I kind of probably want to use this bush right here. I'll try using this bush. Oh, he's right there. Man. That's an embarrassment of riches at this point. Yeah, he's right here. Oh, no, those are the big horn sheep. What do I... I hear something moving. <gasps> it's it's the coyote. I think I, I got too much firepower for the coyote. Yeah, I got buckshot. Let's do uh No, I can use that on him. I think he came for the turkey. Are they attracted to that? I thought it was just a jackrabbit collar. But he was definitely, like, beeline for this turkey. Oh, there goes the turkey. Might be the same one that we heard earlier. I'm still going to go for the lookout, though. Oh, my gosh. No wonder he dropped. Got a bronze on that one. Okay. Let's pick up this turkey. I don't think uh, I don't think our Rio Grande turkey is gonna take the take the bait now. <laughs> so, unfortunately, what's this here? Coyote. That's too bad. All right, let's head up to the lookout. See if we can activate one of our superpowers. Maybe get some clues on need zones and things like that. It's starting to get late though. Yeah, 
1821. Almost, almost to the point where we're going to have to either fall asleep for the night or bed down. Or, I, I mean, switch over to night, night vision. So, we'll see. Bighorn. Yep. Something's walking. Jeez. I don't think I had the right ammo in there for that one. That was, uh, I think I had bird in, didn't I? Yeah, everything was wrong with that shot. Yeah, we didn't get any, we didn't get anything from that, but, uh, flesh, flesh, flesh. It was bird shot I had in there. That's unfortunate, but, uh, was not expecting the coyote to try to, uh, try to race me to the lookout tower. All right, let's get up here. This is a target-rich uh, area right here so far. So what have we got? We got coyote, turkey, sheep, right in this area. All right, let's see if I can activate this here. F. Feed zones discovered. And there's a cooldown right there that's counting down. Okay. So we got feed zones. What's this? Need zone for the coyote. Zero to zero. That's weird. Like, just comes over there for like one minute and leaves or something. I don't know. But I'm interested in this. Let's go ahead and head out there. Before it gets too dark. Actually, it might get too dark here in a minute. Yeah, we're going to be pushing it. Let's just go ahead and uh, fast travel back to our cabin. Maybe we can check that out in the morning. You guys see any more areas? That's not a bad little superpower to have, though. I do like that. All right, so let's head back here. Which one is this? It's undiscovered. Okay, that's right. Seven minutes on foot. All right, we can do that. All right, let's get some sleep, guys. I want to wake up early. Let's do about uh, let's do about five thirty. See you guys in the morning. All right, day two. All right, let's go ahead and move out to our uh, location over here. Curious to see what it'll be. Like I said I. Normally, I uh, wouldn't mind taking an ATV, but kind of like, whoa, there's something out in the middle of the road. Two turkey. No, three turkey. Yeah, but another one's just about ready to cross the road. Yeah, they're going in over here into these bushes. Should be pretty easy to, uh, yeah, there's three of them there, at least. Let's get our bird shot, make sure that's on there. We've got Bird shot, nice. All right, I think we can just uh, scare them up into the air. Here, I'm just gonna take a run at them. It's kind of nice to see their behavior, though. How how we're reacting, or how they react to us moving up on them um, in this sort of open terrain. Because a lot of times you're tracking them through some of the thicker stuff and kind of confused as to how they how they move about but they're definitely on the move let me, let me glass this one again real quick here feed zone that's why so they're gonna be hanging out there for a, a hot second it's uh, 9 to 11 9 to 11 I honestly don't care which one we go for What a beautiful morning this is, right? Easy to get sidetracked. Keep making them glowy here. Okay, he's starting to get a little spooked. I'm going to make a run for him. 
See if I can get them to go up in the air. All right, these two are going to go opposite ways. Where's the third one? Let's go ahead and claim him. Hey, gold. All right. Another gold. Two golds back to back. I heard another turkey up there as well. Wait, what's that? Warning thump. Oh, we could maybe get ourselves a jackrabbit. We got to definitely change up our ammo for that one, though. No, no, no. We got we got the bird shot. We're good. We're good. Let's see if we can find this jackrabbit. We got quite the variety so far, though. I think our hunt's going pretty well. I definitely like this new region. It's it's very, it's just unique compared to anything we've had. I see some tracks running through here. You see this? See this track? And we got a little need zone over here. But there's some tracks right here. For sure. Trick is finding these guys. They're they're okay. They're like hard to see. Oh, yeah, they're hard to see. Without the proper angle. This might give us a good enough angle though. I got him. Got him. Man, that one took off, didn't he? That second one was gone, man. I don't know. I don't think we got that second one. I just saw this one moving. I had to take the shot quick, man. I couldn't even... It was a female. But uh, silver and uh, everything was good. Oh, I only connected with... One round to the leg. Ugh. We'll take it. So I might put up a, uh, I might put up a stand here. Do some hunting from here. But maybe that'll. I got I got movement everywhere. I got movement right over here. I saw it. I think my shot dropped. What is that that just ran? Oh, is that the bob? What is that? Is that the bobcat? No, that's something else. That might be it. I, I want to go go over here see what this uh, the tracks were that were left behind from these animals here. What are those? It's another one. Well, it's a bighorn sheep. Well, I can't shoot him with that ethically. So let's, uh, bighorn sheep. Which one was that? That was four. Was it a four? I want to say it was a four. So we could use either of those. Let me double check. Bighorn sheep would be a nice way to end this episode. Yeah, the class four. Let's go with, uh, well, let's try the slug. Oh, something's dead down here. I must have got one of them. Something's dead right there. Yeah, it's a rabbit. All right, so let's let's change up my inventory here um, and, and, and equip the slug. There we go. Wrong weapon, but there we go. All right. Okay. Okay. Test firing it. Just making sure it's working. Oh, I can't, I can't do it, guys. Boom, I could have got a double right there. Oh. They seem to come out really fast. All right, I'm going to go for these big horn, horn sheep down here. 
They've probably been scared off of the map by now. <laughs> nope, there's one. Just went running. All right. So we got them on the run, but they keep wanting to come back here. I just saw the tail end of that one. Yep, there's another one. Yeah, we got a sleeping zone over here. So I think if we get low here and sent up, or descent, they should come back through this area, I think. Don't turn around on me. Uh, I didn't want to shoot it in the back like that. It'll come back over the hill, I think. I hear a sound all around me. They're just freaking out, man. Oh. Okay, I got one right here. Won't shoot. There we go. Wait for it. Can't see him now. Let me fire him blind. There we go. Nice. That should be a hard shot. <laughs> okay, let's just claim our trophy. Ah! I'm gonna get run over. Oh, yeah, right through the neck. That's that's what got it too. All right, folks. Well, I hope you enjoyed the new map. I am certainly loving it. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can pick up this DLC on Steam. I, uh, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. So y'all take care. See you in the next one.